Hey guys, what's up everyone on YouTube? Bit of a random one, I'm with my uh, cool reindeer. Christmas jumper, eating nachos, having a Guinness on a Wednesday night. I work in the jewelry quarter, do a little bit of uh, consultancy, working at the Blows um, Bullion and uh, Sandy Jewelry site for the last few days. So doing a lot for them. But um, this video is about the metaverse and the crypto markets. So I invested into Sandbox Manor, which is the Central Land, TLM, which is Alien World, and the likes of Engine and a few other cryptocurrencies similar last year, way before all the hype with uh, Facebook with Meta rebranding and all the hype around the new metaverse. I kind of could see it happening with VR headsets years ago and also I watched the Ready Player One uh, film a few years ago by Steven Spielberg and it kind of depicted how we were going to live as a culture in Western culture over the next 10, 20 plus years. So if your reality isn't that exciting, you're probably going to be more inclined to put on a VR headset, become a character that you're not and um, try and be something that you're not because you're going to be chasing that dopamine release, really. so you're going to be chasing that endorphin hormonal response that will make you feel a bit more excited about a, a new reality, a bit like the Matrix. So I'm quite in depth with human psychology. What I'm now doing as an investor, I'm looking at human psychology, varying traits with within our culture, future trends, seeing how technology is evolving at such a fast pace, and things that I'm investing in over the next 10, 20, 30 years are going to be the likes of AI technology, robotics, um, things like the metaverse, cryptocurrencies, things that are going to evolve. They're going to take time, but they're going to actually evolve at a much faster pace than the industrial ages. So in the Second World War, we had a lot of industry forced upon us in Western culture. Things had to progress at such a pace because whoever basically produced the best tank, the best weapons and at such a pace would win the war. And that's partly why Germany lost because the Americans and the Russians outpaced them in mass production. And that's where mass production became so quick and so violent with with um, outpacing one another to win a potential war. Now, I'm using war and production as an example and just showing how fast and vast um, technologies can, can come. So, um, if you've ever seen on Netflix, like the age of tanks, etc., you see the evolution of tanks, and it was mostly evolving because it's all about competitive edge point your competitors. So the same could be said in investing and in the likes of uh, business. And you've got to be on top of your competitors. So in the cryptocurrency space, for example, there's thousands of cryptos out there. In the metaverse, there's quite a few coins to be um, recognised. I'm personally not chasing uh, the likes of Axie Infinity or Bitcoin. I'm more interested in the smaller, lower cap altcoins, which are likely to go quite high this parabolic. Um, ball season. I'm going to be um, exiting most of my possessions, my positions in January um, because I firmly believe what goes up parabolic usually comes crashing down like a pack of uh, cards folding. So that's just a bit of a brief insight into my understanding of the metaverse with the likes of cryptocurrencies right now. Um, I've been down the rabbit hole quite a lot in recent years. I've been into the cryptocurrency space since 2016 where I started investing in the likes of XRP. Um, last year I bought Shiba Inu, uh, also Dogecoin, and then uh, the likes of Elon Musk Pinks, uh, Dogecoin. And I sold it at about 42 cents, having bought it at about 2 cents. I had, I've held on strong with XRP. Bought and sold as well. I'm out of the bigger uh, cap coins and more into the 
small and cap um, altcoins. Like I say, in 2020, I actually invested in the metaverse. Um, so I'm holding on to my sands, mana, an engine, and a few other uh, cryptocurrencies. It's a difficult one to call. I'm not a financial advisor, and I wouldn't recommend anyone to uh, jump into it. I'm not um, going to give anyone financial advice on YouTube. I'm just going to share my experience that I firmly believe, with my belief system, that the cryptocurrency market is going to carry on growing quite high over the next month into January, and I firmly believe it's going to have a huge, harsh correction. You can't go up thousands of percent without a harsh correction. And I firmly believe the stock market is going to have a fall, and that's then going to have an impact on Western culture as inflation increases as well. There's some views, there's some uh, observations. Here I am on the YouTube channel. If you like what I'm about, give us a, a thumbs up. That will help with my uh, YouTube algorithms. But also give the uh, YouTube channel a follow. Obviously, as you know more about health and fitness, it's my birthday this week, and I've had a hard few weeks working. So, Nachos and Guinness it is. Here's my Christmas top, presenting to you an idea about the likes of Metaverse, what cryptos are in, and what my thoughts are. So on my YouTube, I'm going to be touching on health, fitness, nutrition, lifestyle, uh, the likes of business, investment, ideas, all sorts of things that I'm into, things that excite me and interest me. And uh, it just shows that I'm not like one dimensional sort of person, it's just pouting in front of the mirror, trying to look good. So there we go, thanks for watching, give us a follow, give us a thumbs up and have a great day.